Well, in case you didn't quite see the sparks there, we're going to show you another version. So here is some iron wool. So this is the sort of thing that you might use to clean your pots and pans. So I put the iron wool in there, and I'm going to add some concentrated oxygen. This is liquid oxygen. Well, by itself, liquid oxygen doesn't burn at all. It doesn't do anything. But it does allow things to react with it. It does allow things to burn in it. Even this iron here can react with the oxygen. So I've added some liquid oxygen, and um, when the lights go down, we'll add a light, and you may see the combination of the iron and the oxygen. Well, I think that was fairly conclusive. And if we just keep the lights down for a second. The heat from that reaction ooh, has actually caused some of the uh, remaining iron to melt. And in here we have molten iron. And this was the heat of the reaction between the iron and the oxygen, generating iron oxide, the heat that was given out here melted some of the iron, some of the excess iron, and that's what you can see here. So, thank you. If we have the lights up. So that's why you don't normally find iron lying around. We can look at the chemical equation for that. We have iron reacting with oxygen to form iron oxide. And that's the form that we would normally come across for our iron. That's what's in the hematite ore over here.